Once upon a time, I'm sure this garden did look like a garden. But with new homeowners in, place has been left for a while. You can see what happens. Kukuyu grass gets a life of its own and becomes, well, almost a climber or a creeper. And that's what happens. So ideally, we've got this rose in the back. We've got a few dead plants. We've got plants under here. Well, in fact, we don't even know what's under here. So most importantly, we need to get rid of all of this. We need to put a bit of structure into this garden, link up this bed with the remaining garden and really just get some control into it. You know, when you let your garden get to this point, the job seems overwhelming. It, it really does seem like you're going to be climbing Mount Everest. The most difficult part of everything is getting started. And that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. Most of us simply do not have enough time to tend to our gardens as much as we would like to, because we're constantly on the go. So the best thing to do is to opt for a small functional garden, low maintenance, that will suit your lifestyle. Have any of you ever moved into a home where all of a sudden there's a seriously overgrown rubber tree, like 30 meters or something, or one of these guys that you can see has been pruned numerous times. Just look at the thickness of the stem. We call these escaped house plants. We are given it as a gift in a little pot. Looks very cute and dainty in the house. It outgrows the pot. So what's the next best thing? We plant it into the garden. We plant it in there not knowing how big it's going to eventually get, what its root system does, and what damage it could do. Because most house plants have to be pretty tough, like the rubber tree, like this plea meal, like chef Lera's, that simply wants let loose, grow meters and meters. So if you are going to do that, Rather, check it out, get your favorite gardening magazine, find out how big it's going to grow, and tame the wild. So after much sweating and expletives, we've managed to clear this garden bed. But now we've found that the garden kind of disappears into the bank. So we've got a fall of about one in 30, which is not ideal to be able to recreate a garden. Thank goodness we found some rocks lying around. So what we're gonna do to make sure that we can extend and use as much of this garden space as possible, we're gonna use these rocks just to create the level and to fix the level that we're working on. So this big guy is gonna come in here and just stand him up on the edge. And then once we've got this line in place, we'll fill in with potting soil to create our level that we can work off because if you're going to be doing this you've got to get this groundwork done now could be so tempted just to fill in with a bit of soil and plant but then the garden will still just disappear over the edge and especially in a townhouse garden spaces of the optimum premium you're going to be losing all your garden we're nearly done with the rock wall and I am so delighted that we managed to find these guys. There it is, we've built it up enough. All that we need to do now is turn the soil over because remember, yes, it's all well and good to fill it up with potting soil, but when you start digging these plants and you start hitting this layer at the bottom, it's going to be hectically difficult. Because we're having to do a lot of filling in here, we're using a mixture, 50% compost and 50% potting soil. We're gonna make sure that it's mixed in really well into the existing soil. And this, I know, is gonna be like planting these plants in pure growing medium. They are just gonna love it.